Right now at four, we begin with the search for answers. Federal investigators are analyzing critical data recordings just recovered from the black box on board that container ship that caused a bridge to collapse in Baltimore. So that collapse sending at least eight people who were working on the bridge into the river below. And right now, recovery operations are underway for the six people still missing but presumed dead. All day long, we have seen dive teams in the water going through that wreckage below the surface of the collapsed Francis Scott Key Bridge. The goal, of course, is to give family members some closure. And this all unfolds as the National Transportation Safety Board works to try and figure out what happened on board that container ship in the moments right before it collided with the bridge. Still a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. Laura Aguirre brings us the latest on that investigation. We do have uh, the data recorder, which is essentially the black box. We've sent that back to our lab to evaluate. Their goal, locking down exactly what happened before the container ship's devastating collision with the key bridge. Along with grabbing the black box Wednesday, the NTSB team collected perishable evidence like electronics and documentation. The board's chair says they'll also check for dirty fuel. It really is something that we look at in all of our investigations, uh, but that would certainly affect the operation of the vessel. The design of the bridge itself also under close examination after photos circulated showing the possible absence of fenders on support pillars. I've seen the pictures uh, again. We'll want to uh, look at uh, everything that the, uh, on the structure of the bridge. The company that manages the vessel, Synergy Marine Group, is connected to at least three deadly incidents since 2018, according to authorities involved in those investigations. In 2016, the Dolly was involved in an accident in Antwerp, court officials there confirmed to CNN. Now the safety records of both the ship and Synergy will be central to the Baltimore investigation. It may very well turn out that the, that the ship owners are, are liable. If any private party is responsible, then they will be held accountable. An accounting that's coming into clearer focus with each passing day as the NTSB and other agencies piece together this tragic event. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting. And when asked to comment, Synergy Marine Group said it was, quote, inappropriate to discuss the three previous deadly incidents involving ships that they manage. The NTSB is expected to provide another update on the investigation at 8 o'clock this evening. So obviously a lot of pieces to the investigation. Meanwhile, you've got uh, that bridge out for years yep. that was used by 31,000 vehicles every day back and forth across getting to Baltimore. And then the financial impact of all of this, I think yep. they said maybe 15,000 workers might be impacted by mm -hmm. this. So something that we, of course, will continue to follow. Uh, the other big story, the other big part to this story, as we were just mentioning, is the economic impact. With ships unable to pass through this area during the cleanup and investigation period, we're taking a closer look at those issues ahead in our 5 o'clock newscast. So stay with us for that. You can follow comprehensive coverage on this disaster and the next step. Just head to our website, WTHR.com, or our news app, our 13 News app.